I bet you didn't see this one coming. Hey everybody, welcome to a Warno replay cast of Hippie vs. Vertex. In case you don't know, Hippie is a Warno content creator, a quite good one I'd say. A link to his channel is in the description. And um, I've had the idea, you know, of him casting a Red Dragon match of mine and me casting a Warno match of his. So head over to his channel if you're interested in Warno or just the Wargamer Dragon replay, and link is in the description, of course. But before we head into the replay, let's take a look at the decks, shall we? So Hippie is playing, of course, the best country in Warno, that is uh, West Germany. And it's like the second Panzergrand. Is it the second Panzergrand? I think it's the second Panzergrand, right? Second Pan. Oh, I, I still got it, baby. Uh, let's, let's take a look. Alright, he's running a. Supply helicopters, that's not very cash money in Wargame, but in Warno you never know. How much supply do you get? You get 2,000 versus 500. Alright, they are a lot more cost, like, supply per point efficient than in Wargame. It's the other way around in Wargame, really, where helicopters are less efficient. Um, gotta admit, I would say, at least in Wargame, it also should be like this. Because generally speaking, it's a lot more risky to bring supply helicopters anywhere close in the front line. So they're really rarely seen for that reason outside of like matches on actual big maps. Bifu and uh, Ajib. Alright, no M577, no Sultan. Someone explain to me why the Sultan is three per card but that's the per card and the this three is how many cards right is that is that true it is true yes why is the sultan three per card i i really don't get it yeah sure it's five points more expensive and it's faster but why does it have better availability again and why do can you up with the m577 um anyway early access by the way <laughs> infantry uh french vigor cv Falchi Vega Mata 183s, both base and Milan and 182s. Panzer Grands, Carl Gustav and Panzer Grands base, so it does have the Panzer Faust and one fewer men. I think you can, yeah, yeah, you can only get the five man squads in the Milan Mata, presumably because due to the Milan or the need of a Milan operator, you have one. You have less space for Grey, I presume. Base Pentagrams in the Mario 182 as well. It's 15 points cheaper. So, I'm generally just curious. Why does it go for the 183 here, but in the 182 here? Like for 5 points more, which isn't. which is about 12.5 points ish in a war game. 5 points more. Sorry, that's the other way around. 12.5 points in one will be 5 points in one game. Uh, but just 5 points more, you get a lot more armor, like all around. You lose a bit of off road speed and a ton of autonomy. I'd argue it's worth it, but I don't really know how it is in Warno. I think in Warno you see a lot less, you know, low end tanks, if I had to guess. You know, in war game, there's plenty of like MX 13s, M41s, all the cannons everywhere, right? Where the monks for armor can actually make quite a difference against. I presume in Warno that's not as much the case. At least it wasn't back then. Plus, I guess that you generally don't really have as much older equipment available. Stitch Hogs for some spam, I presume. Falchimega Milan, so they got the forward deployment, which you can't even see here. You have to look down there because here it's, you know. One and a half years, by the way. Fox Milan with pipe. It, it messes me up, man. I think you noticed it here as well. I said Iltis and then Falchmaker. In Wargame, these names are the other way around, so I'm so used to saying the top name first and then the bottom name. Messes with my brain, man. It's some Pioneer. They have the Hanflam Patrona, which is essentially Wargame, uh, sorry, West Germany's M202 Flash, you know, when it comes to gameplay purposes at least. Rickard Rifle Squad and some basic. Yeah, go. Wait a second. Oh no, yeah, they're 25 points and they're 45. What I also miss in Wargame, you have um, infantry squad plus transport cost on the card. 
I, I never noticed this until now. I find this a very, very useful bit of, uh, piece of information. And uh, like I said, I didn't even notice it until now, but now that I think about it, that would be really neat to have, honestly. It's not really a deal breaker, it's not, it's not a major thing, but I've, it's just a little bit of extra useful information. I am O. Some basic bitches motors, some towed artillery. This is FH-70, it's essentially like a M109, right? At least, you know, caliber-wise. Basically, yeah, same gun as here. Short reload time of the salvo on the 155. Unfortunately, while the inclusion of this was very nice, you still cannot see the uh, shot reload time, meaning the reload time within the salvo, right? How much time is between each of those four shots, the game doesn't tell you. They show the same rate of fire, but sometimes, at least in Wargame, it was the case that it would show you the same rate of fire for two different units, but in practice, it wasn't really the same rate of fire. At least not within a salvo. And then just a uh, Mars, which has which is HE, as opposed to a uh, cluster in Wargame. Likewise, 2A3s, 1A5s, and 1A1s. I, I have to say, back when I was more active in Warno, I would say the second Panzer Grants was my favorite division. I could have sworn that back then you only got one card of 2A3s. Might have been wrong. 1A1s back then were also kind of busted. Bow, Jäger, Aufklärer, and uh, Lux. Of those, get eight of those. Okay. Ten AP. Yeah, Jäger, Aufklärer are your. Uh, well, look at this, man. So many. What? What, are, what is this? Sniper, Airborne, Special Forces, Recon. Wait, what? Okay, this is. Okay, I understand now. I was like, why do they need this tank? But I guess this is to indicate that they can forward deploy. You know, because this basically says the same as this. But I suppose they still implemented this just to have a separate tag that straight up indicates, hey, forward deployment. But, I don't know. You could argue that, you know, by having uh, this Eureka unit attack, you could... Whatever. I, don't, I understand why. Gephardt, Iltis, Hawk. I think they didn't have the Hawk back then, because they didn't properly implement the uh, tow weapon systems when I was more active. I think they had only Gephardt and Fliegerfaust. Maybe they had uh, some Roland for a short time to, to bridge the gap until the tow weapons arrived. Fliegerfaust, of course, just Red Eyes, yeah? they're not um, Stingers. But Red Eyes are at least usable in Warno, so that's good. Helicopters, they just get a bow with hot ones. Air, you get some British planes. I mean, the division also has a few, like, uh, yeah, Belgian units as well. But our plane has got the Tornado, Tornado Seed, the Gina, or Gina, F-104 with AS-30. So those are some active, aren't they? Yep. Horrible accuracy. Why do you get a 4 per card? And unlike in Wargame, the F-104 is actually pretty fast. But, um, not, not taking the Tornado instead? Or the yeah, either of the tornadoes. Okay, interesting. Tornadoes are only two per card as well. Although I don't know how good HE bombers are versus planes. Uh, sorry, tanks these days. So maybe that's also like a pseudo anti tank plane. Back then, at various patches, they would annihilate tanks as well. I don't know. Alright. Let's take a look at uh, Birth Exec, which is the second. UK, okay, 2nd inf British Infantry Division. British. Only one card of CVs. Okay, this is interesting. Now, when you go to the lower end, trucks start to become more efficient than helos. Alright. Honestly, to an extent, it is... No, this is never really the case in war game. In war game, supply helicopters are never more efficient, even the M26, as far as I understand. I think it may be maybe compared to the... 10 point supply tracks. Maybe I was a bit talking out of my butthole. Infantry wise, Milan 2. Can anything here forward deploy? Doesn't look like it. I can't even take a look up there because. Oh, actually, I can if I don't hover over it, I suppose. Airmobiles would really carry low 80s. 
Sexton's OSA is still my favorite voice lines in the game. What are you waiting for? Artillery. And they have the same water and the same uh, towed gun. But no Mars. Tanks, Chellies. Apparently this is the tank. M48s and another Chelly. No real like light-ish tanks on Leopard 1 level. They got M48s with the half the L7 gun, same as Leopards, but practically no stabilizer. Not so great accuracy. They're slower. They're also disheartened. A reserve, sorry. Take more suppression. Eh? Okay. Also some snippers. I, for a second I thought their, their name is Robert. I actually had a brain fart there. Gazelle. Fox. And some air mobile scouts. They have a... Oh, they have an MBMG. Or a medium machine gun. As well as an LSW. Interesting. Opting to not go for Jäger Aufklärer. Presume because they get the links. Right. Anti air. Got the, the. Okay, here's. There's like two javelin versions, right? There's javelin normal and javelin LML. This one's a good bit more expensive, but has a sour length of three. Whereas this one has a sour length of one. It's like a shoulder mounted and it's like a. Not shoulder mounted. They're still. Oh, they're also a bit slower. Okay. So it's like a. I guess a pseudo toad weapon, like a light toad weapon, if you will. It's not really a toad, but you get the point. It's a bit heavier. Rapier and a tracked rapier. Tracked rapier is uh, non-radar, and the FSA is was radar. Helicopters to get the ito and the basic. T oh no, sorry, a rocket pod gazelle for twenty points. I mean, it only carries twelve snaps. Only three planes. Get a down with a tornado with three. Ah, I guess you lose two when you up with it. What do you get these days when you up with it? You had 5% chances, 5% rate of fire, stress resistance, and stress recovery. They really nerfed veterancy. That, I mean, fair enough. Veterancy was busted as, frack, uh, as freak. But if you have such small steps, like introduce more veterancy levels, please. Like, you so often have the choice of only two steps, which. Fair enough. Outside of the air type, you generally all have that for war game as well. But like, especially for planes, or for certain divisions, we already have like essentially spec decks, right? So when units are shared between divisions, you know, it could it still play differently if like certain divisions get like plus one uh, veterancy in certain tabs or re reduce veterancy in certain tabs. But I've already shit enough about war now for now, and I'm probably gonna shit more on it during the replay cast. Anyway, I shall see you in a second once we do a replay. Alright, we are playing on... well, I'm playing the casting on two lakes, which while I was playing, found to be the best one versus one map, at least when it comes to... Let's see, hide panel. When it comes to the geography. I've said this many times. It's just that the zone layout was, and at least in this version, is still hot poo poo in my eyes. Two simple zones, just basically like these two zones you can ignore, right? But just two zones here, really? They they never changed it, and it's been. It's just not interesting in my eyes. Or right, you can forward deploy CVs. That's cool. Yeah, I have I have this UI on. I think I I was testing something. I hate this UI. I'm. You know what? Fine, for all you Warno heads, I'll keep this UI, even though I hate it. Maybe maybe it'll grow on me for Warno. Who knows? We have... Well, I should do this. Hippie on left and Birth Axe on right. We can probably... And should probably... We got the deployment. It's, oh, that's a really fast match. Well, then, then I don't really mind that um, I spent so long going over the decks. If you're rocking the UK flag, Berthex, the uh, Anzac or Australian flag. If I had to guess, it's still uh, the Anzac flag, the same flag that they had in Wargamer Dragon. Because usually those flag codes carried over. I think, uh, I don't know if they removed it. 
For a while you could even get a swastika flag from us that they had in Silvish, of course. Alright, what do we have here? Okay, I mean, don't get me wrong, there's some very cool stuff, right? I can click on this and uh, show you what uh, paths they take, so that's cool. So see it's gonna load here, yeah, I'm clearly gonna load in there. Going that far up? Oh yeah, okay, yeah, the forward deployment, okay. Um, And then he's is he probably like taking position here and wants to... I mean, there's only so many strategies you can really do from this side, right? You basically get this for free and to try to get a foothold here. And the other side does it the other way around, right? It's literally, literally all you can do. There's no other strategy on this map. Like, you can't really, unless you're really overwhelming, push across the open because there's no cover. So you have to assault the air from that angle and this sun from that angle. Like, there's, I mean, sometimes sure you take this, but there's no other zones to push. That's just all there is to this map. Which is a shame because I feel like uh, cover wise and such, it's actually a well designed map, but the zones are just hot dog poo poo. So, wh where? Somebody explain to me why there's two gazelle recons flying that way? I don't know. I have no idea who Birthex is, right? I don't know if this is just some, some like, low level or, or sorry, but, like, a, a newish player or not an experienced player. Or maybe I just don't understand this, right? I'm not claiming to understand this. I have not seriously played this game for a year now. Only just on and off for a match or two. And even that is exaggerating it a bit. But I don't understand. Maybe it's a misclick and it didn't realize he already had one of those? I don't know, man. Okay, but where's all this stuff going? So he was preparing to defend this? And it was isn't even like gonna push uh, Alpha at all in the in the early stages. From when is this replay? This replay is from 15th of July. From two days ago, apparently. Alright. So it's on the current patch. Two tornadoes, sorry, two phantoms. Those links, oh, 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 I see. So how does Jackie react to this? Ja I don't know why I said Jackie, why, how does Hippie react to this? Okay, bias to uh, Iltis. Okay. Otters. Where are those going? Oh, also for here, but I guess the game somehow spawned them from that side. That's cool. CV in there as well. Counter cat, so the hippie cannot spawn anymore. Hold on. What, what's happening over here? Right. Hasn't even unloaded those. Immediately tries to advance. Presumably he's preparing to get a foothold here. I guess he wants to, like, Ooh, okay. They unloaded. Got the fox. The, the fox. The fox. What do they carry? Just the basic uh, L85. Uh, now, if I was hippie, I would immediately reverse those martyrs and try to unload a lot directly here, so they can shoot spawn stuff in the rear. I guess he's instead trying to snipe the CV, but no. I suppose it's. Valid too. Maybe he thought that he could get it before the switch spawned. I like just for those two matters. If I in here, eight HP. Phantoms were simply protecting against bombers. Those two helicopters obviously didn't go anywhere. There's still two gazelles here. And okay, now a ton of stuff is just attack moving towards Alpha. M48 being bombed. Hey. What do they have? Just good optics, right? Good optics spawning. Can I like see the... I can't measure the distance, right? It's like... 700 meters? Good optics spawning normal infantry at 700 meters into the forest. Those are some really good, good optics. That's coming from war game. Um, I think you barely 
you know what, maybe, you know, I guess not. I think that is on par. I think good optics in the Morgan just barely outranges um, 700 meters, 700 meter AT weapons. I'm sorry that I just keep bringing a war game all the time, but that is nowadays really my only reference, so it sucks to be you if you don't like it, I guess. Um, or they also got increased veterancy because they're next to a CV, right? So here's the cool thing, right? Would be cool. I'm sorry that I keep doing this, right? But wouldn't it be cool if I could take a look at, hey, I wonder what accuracy those foxes currently have when firing at this, right? But no, this is not the accuracy. This just sh just shows the aiming and reload timing, right? This doesn't show accuracy anymore. It shows you like the the like the the current rate of fire process, right? It doesn't show accuracy. So how like I kind of watch a replay. This is I find this very frustrating for multiple reasons. But the biggest reason is, early stages of uh, Warno, it used to work like this, right? It would show the accuracy here. Now it doesn't. So I can watch replay, and I, I'd have no idea, at least as far as I know, maybe there is a way, but I'd have no idea, like, what the accuracy is of my, of my, of my uh, weapon systems. Like, I cannot go and check the replay. Oh, you know, huh, how come that uh, uh, book shot down my plane so consistently? I wonder what accuracy it had, you know? No, you can't check it. You can't check, hey, how does ECM actually affect accuracy? How, you know, is it additive? Is it multiplicative? Is it, you know, what, how does it work? No, there's no way. I'm sorry that I keep ranting, but like, I'm trying. When I play Wargame, I have a relatively easy time to just, you know, keep. Warno quote unquote burns, but Warno shit talking to one liners and such. But when I'm actually quote unquote exposed to this, I'm sorry, but I just can't hold myself back because I just don't understand these decisions. Sometimes. Sometimes I do, even if I don't like them. There's plenty of decisions that I understand, even though I'm, I'm massively against them and hate them. There's some, sometimes I just can't understand why, you know? But this, for example, as some others, I just can't. I'm sorry. Sniper in here. Um, I'm currently... I'm not certain if Warno currently has a hold fire button. I think it has. As far as I understand, it doesn't have a return fire button. Oh no, that, that's just straight up... Wait a second, are they shooting at the snipers and the snipers are not... Huh? Those weapons are... I guess maybe they do have just... Do just have hold fire turned on. There's no way they wouldn't shoot back if they... If, okay, so there's a hold fire button is what I determined based on that. Also, I'm sorry, but these blips, I don't like them. Why do I not like them? Because... One blip stands for 2 HP, right? And I feel like... And maybe I'm in a minority. This is one of those things right, where I'm like, I'm not saying this is like really bad, it's just I don't like it, right? But um, those are blips, right? And if there's like one or two blips, it's generally fairly easy, un easily understandable. But here's my problem. One blip is 2 HP, so 2 HP units have one blip, 4 HP units have two blips, etc, etc, right? Tanks have uh, five blips, I presume, right? 10 HP, five blips. All right. It's basically just a health bar, right? But here's my problem, especially when it comes to infantry. I find it very, very annoying to realize, based on blips, um, this is my infantry at full HP. It could just be a 6 HP squad with six blips, uh, 3 blips, or it could be a damage squad with 3 blips, but it actually has like 8 HP max. I mean, yes, there is, um, you can see it here, right? There's, of course, a black part, but I find... Personally, I'd find it a lot easier if full HP was always a full bar from left to right. Maybe increase the size of blips, or maybe just go the basic bitch as route that literally every other RTS took and just, you know, have it colored based on percentages. But of course, you know, then you'd have problems with this uh, stress bar, which, by the way, if I was playing this the first time, I'd think this is HP. But it's a different story. It is, of course, 
I understand though it is not easy to have the coloring when you have the stress bar, but personally, perfect world would be if there was just an option for that, right? Then you please everyone. You know, when it comes to UI, it's there's no real downside to having more options outside of of course increased work. Um, when it comes to other stuff, more options isn't always good, especially when it comes to game modes and such, because then you might split player base, yada yada yada. But when it comes to UI, in my opinion. For the players, there's no downside to just having more options, right? So maybe I'd find it cool if those that was an option. But yeah, me it, it confused me a lot when I saw that the first time. It might just be a thing getting used to, but anyway, back to actually casting the game and not ranting about Warno. Oh, every see this for everyone asking why don't you make more Warno videos? This is why because I guarantee you, you who want to see Warno videos don't want to hear me rant about how much I dislike this game. Because then you're just gonna be like, hey, if you hate it so much, why do you play it? Oh, shut the frick up, man, because you asked me to. <laughs> Alright. Okay, this is I find interesting. Um, in war game, you have to be a bit careful if you uh, shoot at the uh, infantry that's engaging in CQC combat. Because then um, you can easily hurt your own units. Gina is engaged. Oh, that was some sick splitting. Not gonna lie. Rocket pots against infantry like that, a lot more. That look at that angle in Wargaming, you definitely can't do that. Rocket pots in here, I, I do like those rocket pots. You can actually engage multiple targets at one time, it's a lot easier. You can actually uh, single out a few spread out squads much easier. IMO. Rocket pots here, honestly, kind of cool, not gonna lie. I'm jealous a bit. I know that has to be said. Warno does look pretty, right? I, I never denied that. And unlike in Wargame, you can actually stay on a crashing plane, right? In Wargame, when a plane dies and crashes, right? You can't stay locked onto it anymore. Which is really bad for um, taking screenshots. Because when you're not locked onto the, to a unit in Wargame, then you, you can't get the good angles anymore. So I really appreciate that in Warno. Not I'm not even joking, that's actually cool. Um, I was gonna say you can really see how those M48s just don't have accuracy. I'd really love to check the accuracy of them against the Leopard, or the Leopard's accuracy against them, but I freaking can't. Oh, here we see the good old war game interaction of uh, helicopters countering AA. Uh, oh, the Rapier probably had to reload. Used four missiles of its salvo. Only is it like a salvo real time of five seconds though? What the heck? Oh, did it actually kill the truck? Huh? I, I unfortunately can't go back in the replay right now. But how the heck did that happen? Was uh, Berthax just not paying attention and just reverse it and not realize it was a helicopter? Or thought he could get in cover in time? I guess he was running away, he was trying to run away from the leopard and she hoped that by getting into cover the bow would lose line of sight and then he could snipe it from there. Also, just did not pay attention to anything at all here. Seems like if he took a bit too much time. So there was actually a bit of some reinforcements coming in form of Fox spam and some SASs. Was, you don't even have to, see on a map like this where you have so few zones, right? You don't even have to protect your spawn as much because it can't get captured. Like generally, I'm I'm like you know starting spawn capture barely happens in war game, and if it does, it's a meme game. But I feel like on maps like these and in situations like these, it would be beneficial to a to to a player or like to when you're on hippie side and on experiencing end to have this uh, as an option. But once again, I actually do understand why they removed it. Again, I don't agree, but I can understand the reasoning. I don't really fault them. Ampella providing smoke cover for the fox. I wonder if we I wonder if we see a, a bomber coming in trying to snipe them. I know we see a gem being bought. We're clearly learning from the mistake for, uh, <laughs> from the early game, where he first buys stuff from here and then moves it around. What you could do in war game is you uh, have it spawn here 
and then drag the unspawned unit label over there. Uh, if you do that in Warno, at least last time I did it, it would also switch spawns if suddenly the next one would go through. So you have to actually wait for it to get spawned and then give it a new movement command. Which is a tad bit annoying. I gotta be careful there though, but there's, there's a gepper, but it's out of ammo. <laughs> I honestly I find this rover hilarious. But I feel like that's, that is kind of what you get once you make CV so goddamn cheap and don't... Um, for them to be in zones anymore. It's 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 a downside. There's certainly upsides to it, gameplay wise, but there's also downsides, and I feel like it's downwise downsides. Uh, you know, can talk all the all, as much as you want about you know TV sniping being stupid and and, and whatnot in war game, and I'm not necessarily disagreeing. But that mechanic right there was also kind of stupid. <laughs> not gonna lie. And it seems like uh, this stuff here is getting pushed out. Looks is presumably not living for long. But there's a jelly now. I totally missed that. See, if I had like huge number things, I feel like would have maybe not missed it as much. So, he's... Uh, presumably Hippie's hoping that those pants are going to arrive early enough, or he's like... I'm gonna sacrifice that Fox, it's still worth to delay the spawn there. But I presume that's probably not what he was thinking. Oh, this is gonna be close. We are being fired and hitting. Oh, that RH2 to wait, can it actually penetrate at that range? It's what, a bit under 1500 meters? You have 3 AP, 5 armor? I don't know. I think um, you still get a practical, practically one free AP at, at like 20 meters or something below max range. But I don't remember. Uh... Oh. It is like basically like 100 meters or something below max range. In any case, Fuchs, Fuchs died to an M48. Not enough to up it? Or did something else kill it? You also can't see the XP bar in replays. I think, I think they have implemented it for um, actual playing, right? In any case, I'm pretty sure you can vet up in, in Warno, but it seems to take a lot more. Which is roughly as I remembered, but I wasn't sure. Mina takes care of the martyr. Shelly. There is a bow coming. The drapiers are retreating? Oh, now they're moving up again because presumably the bow just got spotted, right? Or maybe not? And the spotted. Hold on, can I? Wait a second. Is oh. and ready. I got a hit. Go on. Everybody, check your ammo. I love that voice. That voice actor. For the SAS. So fucking funny. Iltis got destroyed. I mean, technically, you can't get a stalemate if you get control of Alpha. And I just realized there's... Very little protecting Charlie right now. But there is of course a gazelle that provides a lot of line of sight, so if you pay attention to it. And it seemed like it did because the gazelle was moving. But I'll be honest, I don't... Oh god. Oh, they all use up the rockets. Sometimes I don't know how much is player input and how much is um, like unit AI. Because you do have stuff like tanks using just smokes on their own and reversing on their own sometimes. So I don't know if like small movements like that where they just moved out of like Jäger yeah range. I'm not always certain if that's like player input or not. Because in a war game replay, you can, if you see something like that, you can basically always be sure, alright, the player did notice that and reacted to that. Um, because I'm not up to date with what has been implemented and changed, I'm not sure here. So there's a bunch of arm rifles with a loss here. Let's see if those melee warriors can. Get. Seems like they are not getting to the CV, just barely. How many CVs does. Hippie even have left. He has like five and six taps. Tap. I think he gets too far to make a few. I don't think he had any CVs in a tank tap. So I find it really funny how there's been more CV snipes in this game than in the uh, what I feel like is the average one versus one game in war game. 
But I also don't know how representative this match is. Also, I guess I'm eating my words when I said there's literally only, strat only one strategy because clearly there's another one. Although I don't know how, let's say, cheesy this is considered. Again, I'm not up to up to date with, you know, war no meta and etc, etc. Good accuracy on those strapers. I wish I could see it. And that's a defeat for Hippie. Damn. And I... Oh, you can't see any kills here either, can you? God damn it. Well, that was, a, that was pretty clear. What was his rank? He is a Brigadier General. And Hippie is a Colonel. No, that's my rank. What? Hello? I want to see... Excuse me? Why is it why is it showing I click on hippie and it shows my rank? That's me. I'm smoking Joe, rude boy. Huh? Oh, never mind, I'm stupid, you can't see it. Fine. Yes, thank you, thank you. Yo. I also like how losses are actually ordered by the unit. Uh I, I, honestly, again, ideal. Oh no, right, there's a time thing down here as well. That's really sick. Actually, it's twisted. Sick implies there's a cure. <laughs> oh, there was an IHA kill. I missed so much stuff because I was too busy ranting about how much stuff I don't like anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh. Oh man. Well, that was indeed one of the Warner matches ever. I'll be honest. I don't really know all too much that happened. I'm not really I I, I can't even remotely read like special like the, the weapon effects as much to really understand what's happening. I don't like the UI that is just overloading you. I just oh man, that was too much. Honestly, I, I know, you know. Earth Thanks dropped in the secondary spawn, captured it, and made sure to not lose his own uh, spawn as well as the as well as Alpha. Even briefly contested whatever the other one was called that Hippie held, and um, yeah, Hippie couldn't win against the cheese. I guess that's why you open with Recon helicopter so you can spot it early. Actually, let's. I want to briefly. I want to briefly see how when Hippie spotted this actually. And see how fast he reacted to this. He does have a Rukin bow in his deck, I think. I j There's some very funny things. Did you notice how the radio chatter is just suddenly sped up or there's just so much more happening? As well as the clouds moving so much faster? Hey, look at all this radio background chatter. Alright. Let's see, when does he spot it? I mean, those, those trunks have like no optics, right? Right, I have to click on this to actually see the transport. Optics bad. And yeah, like look at this. They're they're basically blind, right? Yes, briefly. Right, still nothing. I just realized there's no... Just trucks, just trucks everywhere. God dang it, man. Where's your recon units, man? Just recon inventory. Where's your uh, Luxus? Where's your bows? Or where are your Luxus and your bows, Ryder? Okay, that's plane spotted. Two planes spotted. That's the first helicopter. Alright, this is when he realizes it. Or could realize it. Oh, and he spotted two helicopters. Maybe he thinks, okay, they're just dropping there. 
And now he has realized, alright, they're not just dropping there. But the problem is also now, alright. Okay, he just he just got a tick of income. He got his first tick of income right there, 260 points. Yeah, okay, he immediately buys those. Immediately buys two Iltis. And the two Marauders. I mean, yeah. I know what to say, it's kind of... Um, sucks to be you, I guess. <laughs> I mean, no, he erected as early as he could, given the units he had. Yeah, he had just nothing to really spot those helicopters early enough. Uh, again, I don't know how common this kind of strategy is, or if it's considered cheesy or not. I'd say if it's like a common occurrence with these in ranked, I'd... I, I also don't know like the relationship. Do they know each other right? Was this ranked? Was this unranked? Was the friendly match for others screwing around? You know, obviously I don't know those details. Um, but uh, if this is a common strategy or a thing in ranked, at least if it's considered cheesy, I'd basically, I don't know, always start with a bow, start with at least a looks or something, or even a plane. Although I don't know how well planes can spot helicopters, honestly. Might be different in a war game. Uh, at least early on, I think uh, planes used to have trouble uh, spotting planes on their own. It, uh, couldn't even rider. Again, no, no idea how it is these days. Oh, it, it would be cool to see uh, those red eyes. Uh, uh, what, what accuracy they have with their 40% base accuracy and down with it against a uh, 30% ACM. But uh, enough about that. I'd say, normally, I'd say I hope you enjoyed the video. Frankly, I don't think you did if you're actually interested in Warno. But if for some reason you're still watching and you are interested in Warno, I'd highly recommend checking out Hippie's YouTube channel. Link in the description and hopefully also pinned as a comment. I'll be honest, when I said I was going to cast the replay channel, I didn't expect it to go this way. I didn't expect to keep ranting about Warno and just ignore what's happening in the replay. But it is what it is. Yeah. Hopefully, again, you enjoyed it, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>